Hey, this is Mike, and I want to talk about a stock that's a possible uh, dip buying opportunity. If you're looking for a stock that's been running up uh, for the past couple of months, and it's had a bit of a pullback, that could be a good entrance opportunity, and it's plug power. And I want to thank Base Leap, a commenter on my Peloton video, who recommended that I look into plug power. So <clears throat> before I get into this video, if you could please leave a like, it would help people discover videos for people looking for uh, interesting new stocks to get into. And if you want to get daily updates and breaking news on videos, go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications. So I did a little research on what plug power is because I wasn't too familiar with it. I knew a little bit about it. So apparently plug power makes hydrogen uh, fuel cells, and it's really helping for a lot of mostly fleet vehicles um, transform into zero emission vehicles, so like fleet vehicles, ground support, industrial robotics, aerospace, and then stationary power, data centers, government, microgrid, railroad. Um, they're really at the forefront of the transformation from a gas-powered industry to more zero emissions, and there, there are a lot of countries that really want to be a zero emission economy, especially like um, China, Europe, the United States is moving, and probably by the middle of this century, we're probably going to be a, a mostly zero emission planet. And you you look at plug power, and they're really kind of at the forefront of this technology when it comes to hydrogen fuel cells. So it's definitely a, a company that has a lot of potential for the future. Now, looking at the stock itself, um, the company has a market valuation of around $6 billion, so it's not a large company. And it's had a range now, a 52-week high of 19, a 52-week low of 2. So it's closer to its 52-week high, so which is really good. And the one thing that I like about this stock is it's had a pullback from 18 down to 16. So that's like a little over 10% pullback. However, this stock is still way above its 50-day moving average of about 13 and a half. So still 15% above its 15-day moving average with a 10% pullback. That is the perfect setup for dip buying. What you want to do is you want to buy stocks that are above the 50-day moving average but have had a bit of a pullback. Now, personally, I don't buy stocks as much as I do cash secure puts. However, if I needed another stock to do a cash secure put on, Plug Power is the perfect candidate. And that's because, again, as I said, the stock is above the 50-day moving average. So that means there's going to be a lot of support. And the stock has pulled back, which means the puts that um, I would want to sell will, will be more expensive. So I can sell more expensive puts, which are essentially insurance that people buy. So you become like an insurance seller. You get a high premium. You sell the put. Chances are better than 50% that Plug Power is going to um, bounce off of this dip and continue higher. So I would definitely recommend if you're looking for a buying opportunity of a, of a fast rising stock, Plug Power is really good. And also for a stock to hold long term, we are going to be moving towards a zero emission economy. Fuel cells are going to be very important to a lot of different industries. So I would definitely keep my eye on Plug Power. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.